The planet Titan is probably the most curious and fascinating object in our solar system. It has a number of extremely strange properties, looks breathtakingly beautiful, and has captivated scientists since its discovery in 1655. But let's leave it up to you to be enchanted by this planet. Titan is the largest moon of Saturn and the second largest in our solar system, after Ganymede, a moon orbiting the planet Jupiter. It's the only moon in the solar system with clouds and a dense planet-like atmosphere. Scientists believe that conditions on Titan are similar to those in the early years of Earth. The main difference being that Earth has always been warmer because it's closer to the Sun. A NASA representative said, in many ways, Saturn's largest moon, Titan, is one of the most Earth-like worlds we've found so far. If you like our videos, feel free to support us with a thumbs up. Subscribe to Simply Space and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Titan's Atmosphere An orange haze surrounding Titan hid its surface from Earth scientists until the arrival of the Cassini mission in 2004. Titan's atmosphere extends to an altitude of about 600 kilometers, much higher than Earth's atmosphere. Because the atmosphere is so high, Titan was long thought to be the largest moon in the solar system. It was not until 1980 that Voyager came across enough to discover that it is actually smaller than Ganymede. Titan's atmosphere is active and complex, consisting mainly of nitrogen, 95%, and methane, 5%. Titan also has organic molecules containing carbon and hydrogen, which often include oxygen and other elements similar to those in Earth's atmosphere and essential for life as we know it. An Enigmatic Planet there is an unsolved mystery surrounding Titan's atmosphere. Since methane is broken down by sunlight, scientists believe there is another source that replenishes the lost methane. One possible source of methane is volcanic activity, but this has yet to be confirmed. It's therefore possible that Titan's atmosphere escapes into space in a manner similar to Earth's atmosphere. The Cassini spacecraft has detected polar winds that pull methane and nitrogen, charged by interactions with light, out of the atmosphere along Saturn's magnetic field. A similar process is believed to be occurring on Earth with our own magnetic field. On Saturn's largest moon Titan, Cassini and Huygens have shown us one of the most Earth-like worlds we've ever seen, with weather, climate, and geology that open new avenues for understanding our home planet, NASA officials said. Magic Islands There are an abundance of methane lakes on Titan, mostly concentrated near its south pole. In 2014, scientists found a transient phenomenon they jokingly called a magic island, an apparent mass that appears and disappears. It's possible that nitrogen bubbles forming in Titan's oceans sit on the surface for a period of time, forming a temporary island that eventually dissipates. Hydrologic Cycle What I think is really special about Titan is that it has liquid methane and ethane lakes and seas, which makes it the only other world in the solar system that has stable liquids on its surface, said Jason Hofgartner, a planetary scientist at Cornell University back in 2014. Not only does it have lakes and seas, but it has rivers and even rain. It has what we call a hydrologic cycle, and we can study it as an analog to Earth's hydrologic cycle. It's the only other place in our solar system that has those features. Large areas of Titan's surface are covered by hydrocarbon sand dunes. The dunes on Titan can resemble the Namibian desert in Africa. Because methane exists as a liquid on Titan, it also evaporates and forms clouds, occasionally causing methane rains. Clouds of methane ice and cyanide gas float above Titan's surface. Titan continues to amaze with natural processes similar to those on Earth, but involving materials other than our familiar water, 
said Cassini Deputy Project Scientist Scott Edgington of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, in a statement. Sunlight is fairly weak on Titan, and the climate is determined mainly by changes in the atmosphere of light associated with the seasons. The data also suggests the presence of a liquid ocean beneath the surface, but that has yet to be confirmed. Not all atmospheres are created equal. As more planets have been found outside the solar system, Titan has served as a model for cloudy celestial bodies. Studying the Moon's atmosphere has helped scientists understand those of more distant systems. It turns out you can learn a lot by looking at a sunset. For example, Tyler Robinson of NASA's Ames Research Center said in a statement, Cassini Spacecraft In 2017, the Cassini spacecraft completed its two-decade mission to Saturn. Launched on October 15, 1997, the spacecraft reached Saturn on June 30, 2004. Upon arrival, Cassini launched the Huygens spacecraft, built by the European Space Agency. Huygens was equipped to study Titan, landing on Saturn's moon and eventually yielding astonishing results. For example, many mountains over 10,000 feet high were identified on Titan. The Huygens probe landed by parachute on January 14, 2005. Because of the Huygens observations, Titan became a top priority for scientists. The mission achieved outstanding results, such as capturing the highest resolution images ever taken of that moon's surface. During the main mission and the extended mission, Cassini was able to obtain fundamental data about Titan's structure and the complex organic chemistry of its atmosphere. Based on Cassini's findings, scientists studied the presence of an inner ocean composed of water and ammonia. The spacecraft has also observed seasonal changes, such as the formation of an ice cloud on Titan's southern hemisphere in 2015, suggesting that a severe winter is imminent in this zone. The focus of the mission, as far as Titan is concerned, was to find signs of seasonal change and volcanic activity. The Grand Finale Titan played a dominant role in Cassini's planned ending. This unusual lunar specimen provided the gravitational boost the spacecraft needed to fly between Saturn's rings in recent months and explore a region never before seen. The flyby of Titan, which occurred more than four months before Cassini sank, was the point of no return. Increasing the spacecraft's velocity relative to Saturn by about 1,925 miles per hour. With this flyby of Titan, we've reached the grand finale, Earl Mays, Cassini project manager at JPL, said in a statement after the April 2017 flyby. The spacecraft is now on a ballistic trajectory, so even if we were to forego future small course corrections using thrusters, we would still enter Saturn's atmosphere on September 15th, no matter what. A new Earth? It's believed that conditions on Titan could make the Moon habitable in the distant future. If the Sun increases its temperature in 6 billion years and becomes a red giant star, Titan's temperature could rise to the point where stable oceans exist on its surface. At least according to several calculations predicting further development. If this happens, conditions on Titan could resemble those on Earth, allowing favorable conditions for some forms of life. Experiments on Earth suggest that Titan may be more habitable than previously thought. Complex organic chemicals, once thought to be suspended high in the atmosphere, may be closer to the surface than previously thought. Scientists previously thought that the Moon's atmospheric chemistry was basically inert and dull as you approach Titan's surface, Murthy Gudipati, lead author of the study at JPL, said in a statement. Our experiment shows that this is not the case. The same kind of light that drives biological chemistry on Earth's surface could also drive chemistry on Titan even though Titan receives much less light from the Sun and is much colder. Titan is not a sleeping giant in the lower atmosphere, but has at least some chemical activity. More facts about Titan 
Titan's name comes from Greek mythology. The Titans were ancient gods who ruled the universe before the Olympians came to power. The moon was discovered in 1655 by Dutch astronomer Christian Huygens. The Huygens lander probe, sent to the moon by the European Space Agency aboard NASA's Cassini spacecraft, is named in his honor. Huygens was the first human-built object to land on Titan's surface. Some more facts. Titan's diameter is 50% larger than that of Earth's moon. Titan is also larger than the planet Mercury, but has only half the mass of the planet. Titan's mass consists mainly of water in the form of ice and rocky material. It also has no magnetic field. Do you think that mankind will be able to live on Titan someday? Or do you consider this completely impossible? Feel free to leave us your thoughts in the comments.